Alright guys, how's it going? My name is Dominic and for you guys today I'm bringing an awesome challenge against Clash with, Ro Clash with Raw Dog here, Matty. Basically what it is, is we're going to try to get as far as we can in single play with only one army composition. So that is my army composition. I'm not allowed to train up anymore once I start the first attack. I've only got one set of spells as you can see, one heal free rate and only one set of clan castle troops which are six hog riders. So hopefully we can break through 100 stars. So that is about um, more than 30 bases to destroy with only one arm composition. As you can see I kind of speeded up the whole video otherwise it would have been a good 25 minutes to half an hour long and I don't think any of you'd want to stay and watch that but as you can see for the first few attacks I'm only using my king and queen because they, they they don't need to be there's nothing I don't need to waste an army composition I'm allowed to use my king and queen as many times I'm allowed to use them if they do die so I did have them on a boost but as you can see I'm just switching from base to base can't remember how many more next base is now cannonball run and as you can probably see at the moment it looks very easy and yes in the beginning it was very easy it was quite boring at the beginning because as you can see i'm just picking up three stars with just my king and queen being level 60 and level 15 one thing with matty he's only allowed to have 220 troop capacity train he has got 240 available as he is a town hall 10 and he's got higher heroes but I don't know if he's if he's as smart as me to use my sort of army composition. I thought this army composition was brilliant, and hopefully I can break through 100 stars, which is over two thirds of the stars available with just one army composition. So that is would be amazing. But as you can see, king and queen now they're starting to take some hits from the from the cannons there, but still not enough hits for me to use my other troops so I can still conserve them and try to conserve them for as long as I can until they can actually well until they're actually needed because at the moment very easy with just a king and queen another hundred percent there as you can see another base brute force this one does look a bit trickier to be honest I'm still gonna go with the king and queen um yeah I'm still gonna go with the king and queen on this one they do die off but I have got my king and queen on the 10 gem boost so I did cut those parts out and I did cut the scrolling between I think 100% I'm 100% sure I did get every single base right in order I'm only allowed to proceed on to the next base if I do 3 star it and there is no cheating going on as you can see that is the first actual troop we have placed down it is the balloon but in but it's very still easy only one balloon needed as it will just take out all the cannons and there's nothing to harm that one balloon there and still the queen and king kind of low health but abilities there do put them back up which is great as well another 100% with just one balloon used and now I think from now on we're gonna have to start using the balloons and the minions and hogs because this is where it does get difficult but still hopefully I have got enough trained I have I mean I hopefully I have conserved him enough to get those that hundred star mark because if I do break that hundred stars I doubt there's any chance of Raw Dog beating me. And also if you want to check his his version of this out, it is in the description and he'll probably will comment, so check his channel out. Let's see I'm definitely gonna check it out to check if he's actually gonna beat me. Hopefully he doesn't, but there is no there's nothing to say that he is not as smart as me here. But anyway, as you can see, the first air defense down, the first air defense we have come across actually here, but still take it out with the queen and just drop down one balloon. Again, no damage to the heroes, just a little bit on the queen, but the ability will stock her back to full health and 100% again there. And next base, a movable object. Again, another air defense, so still going to have to use a balloon, but I did kind of put the balloon before the arch queen, which was a bit silly, but still good. Balloon still standing. King and Queen, decent le decent health. King ability activated. Queen's one activated a bit before as well. And another 100%. And all of these are really just going to be stacking up on 100%. I was very, very, sh I was very careful that I didn't waste any troops. As you can see, there, I think that was the first minion I've used. Yep, first minion up top, as you can see there. So we've used so far one. Actually, we have used a few balloons, so about five balloons and one minion so far I've lost count on what base we're on at the moment so only at the end I think I'm gonna be able to see how many bases we have destroyed and the total number of stars we've gained because it's based not on the number of bases we destroyed but amount of stars we've gained so well I guess you could sort of two star and move on but what's the point of that because you really were gonna want a three star but anyway so as you can see now um, 
Watchtower, another easy base. Still king and queen. King did lose a bit of health, so he's going to have to be regen there. And the period I had to wait when I was... When I, the period I had to wait between the attacks when the king or queen did lose health was kind of frustrating. But I did edit this video quite a lot, so... So I could make it. So I could make it for you guys, nice and short. This is as short as I could get it. Uh, any shorter than this, and it's literally you're not gonna understand nothing that's going on. As you can see, one balloon. Play, I feel that was two balloons placed. The first one was very silly. The second balloon is gonna die off as well from that level two air defense. King goes down at the bottom, and the queen again lower health, uh, quite low on health. Do activate her ability, but still not to full health and that's going to be another wait and that period of waiting time between the attacks is very tedious very annoying but still 100% the next attack thoroughfare um, this is now I finally placed the first two hog riders so they take out that and then I place a balloon and then queen so I did use three troops this raid I'm thinking to myself maybe that was a mistake I, should, I don't think that was needed because I was getting frustrated having to wait between the raids, so I did kind of make sure that my king and queen didn't die off or go quite low on health. That was really my aim in the attacks, not the three-star completer base, to make sure I three-star the base with the king and queen good health. But as you can see, 17 balloons left, 19 minions, 8 hog riders, still the clan castle, and not a single spell touched yet. We are doing very good at the moment. I'm still, I don't know, maybe this is a 12th, 13th, 14th base so far. Still, they're doing looking. It's looking very good. Hundred percent with ease again as well. We're only using one balloon and one minion. Here we have a wall of trees here. Um, still king a hog rider at the bottom actually. As you can see, he's not going to take much damage dodging those mortar bullets. Had a mortar bullets there, and the king again. King and queen total destruction. I think without the king and queen, I think we'd only get on to like half the amount of stars we're going to get because the king and queen are really bossing this out for us because so you can see they that's all you need to three star these bases and just thinking about it if i do get two thirds of a war campaign with just one army composition it shows that any of you guys can do it it just really takes patience you just need to train up one army composition and honestly you will profit on the amount of gold they give i think i've already three starred everything so i've already got the whole achievement but the the amount of loot they give you towards the end is ridiculous so getting about 100 stars within one army composition is definitely going to profit you there as you can see again one balloon two hog riders used mm, this base does look quite tricky to be honest um sitting on it for a bit to look just don't want to waste troops and i don't want my heroes to go out too much but as you can see you use two balloons but they take out those there uh, they take out those archer towers with ease the, the queen takes out the air defense so the balloons are still going to be standing that archer tower at the bottom is kind of annoying but it's lost structure so it's definitely going to be destroyed with a king and queen quite low health so some regen time is going to have to be what we're going to have to wait for some regen time there where never mind on to the next attack is on omaha beach very confusing names i don't know what the i don't know what the meanings are behind these names i don't think there is any but as you can see king and queen once again total destruction on these defenses queen at the bottom king did take quite a lot of hit points he is going to the sort of darkish green, greenish darkish green color which means there's quite a lot of regen time wait there next one walls of steel 30,000 i still don't understand why they give you money um I did complete everything, so I don't know why they're giving me any more money for attacking these bases, but I don't know. Maybe you got one of you guys could tell me. But as you can see, all I need for this one is two balloons, perfectly symmetrical, and once those defenses are sort of down, they can, then I can actually put the heroes. And this was actually the easiest base out of the ones previously, so except the beginning ones. This was the easiest one we've come across so far. I could really have done it with one balloon, but... As I tried, didn't want to make this too long, I did use two balloons. This base, silicon defense, is easy one as well. Two balloons up top, take out the archer tower. Then at the bottom, I'll put my, I'll place the heroes. There you go, queen's going to be placed. Um, a bit too late because that one balloon did go down, but as you can see, still not. Oh, she has lost quite a lot of health. So I did place a healing spell. I, th I was thinking to myself, when, where, when else am I going to use it? So I just used that to conserve her re regen time. So I don't have to wait. And as you can see, 94%, 100%. That's another 3 star. Next one is Obsidian Tower. I am running low on troops. Now, as you can see, 7 balloons, 14 minions, and only 3 hog riders. So 
I have to I'm trying my best to conserve this as much as I can but as you can see the bases are getting not too tricky but much harder for the amount of troops that I want to use I want to use at least two troops maximum but as you can see that balloon is just about to get taken out and there you go and then I put the king but he kind of does avoid the air defense but as luckily I've got a mi I did put a minion down there no that was a hog rider my bad hog rider was placed down there and he's gonna really do most of the damage and I think only two troops were used in this attack let me just look yeah it's only two troops were used so that was quite good that was a great attack honestly next one red carpet this one again a very tricky one to try I'm looking at this base for quite a while thinking what to do um, one balloon goes down at the top a couple minions so I did use four minions so so far six seven troops eight troops actually used so far in this attack so quite a heavy numbered attack in this one and as you can see it's not too overkill but definitely could have done it without that many troops used so eight troops maybe that could kill me for a round further ahead hopefully not um, natural defense now this one looks very easy actually um, take out the air defense and then I can put balloons down so I put a balloon, one balloon at the bottom where it's away from the air defense once it goes to the second defense I can quickly put down the archer queen take out that oh that was poor that was very poor All right that balloon did go down so I have to waste another balloon which I don't really want to do but there you go so now I can put a king oh, oh that caught me out there ah the king at the bottom health going down quite a bit still not going to affect me to get the three star but again the again it's just going to affect the regen time and just affect my patience for the further for the further attacks and then it's on that one 150k gold gain there i'm quite surprised and this one i think is going to be the penultimate raid so the second last one if i just double check um yeah this one looks like the penultimate raid so i'm gonna just save one i have to save it enough troops to use for the second attack as you can see balloons gone down i've got four minions and no clan castle troops left this is going to be a three star so i've only got a clan castle six horrors and four minions to use for this attack so will i get the three star let's take a look king and queen go down on that air defense rage spell use i've got three spells still haste spell with a hog rise go make all spring trap Arr. That rage spell was an accident there. Pointless rage spell used, but I don't know. Can we get a three star? Yeah, we've got the three star, guys. All right, so that's good. So 100%. And if we look at the amount of stars we've gained, 91, no, 93 stars gained in this. So if you guys want to see how Rodo did, check his video out. His link is in description, and it's his channel is in description. And let's see if he beat me. But that's it from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Try it yourself, and goodbye.